Hello and welcome to today's Dwelling in the Word. Today we want to begin with a simple truth. With God, nothing is impossible. Or if we shift that just a little bit, nothing is impossible with God. Do you believe that is true? Hold that thought. And let's hear from the Word of God in Psalm 24 in the first six verses. I'm going to be reading today from the New Revised Standard Version. Hear the Word of God. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the world and those who live in it. For he has founded it on the seas and established it on the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and pure hearts, who do not lift up their souls to what is false and do not swear deceitfully. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob, the word of God. It's always been a curious thing to me. The original deception of the serpent in the garden was so simple and basic. Here it is. God is holding out on you. He doesn't want you to be like him. That is why this is forbidden fruit. That is why God does not want you to eat of this fruit. Because he knows that if and when you eat of this fruit, your eyes will be opened and you will become like God, knowing good and evil. Eat this and you will become like God. And so humanity was deceived by a lie, a dark, sinister, and simple lie. All through scripture, from beginning to end, there is this theme that is woven into the tapestry of God's story. It is this, God calling his people, inviting his people, urging his people, and pleading with his people to be like him. God calls us to walk in his ways. He guides us in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake, Psalm 23. He compels us to be holy as he is holy, to seek justice, to love mercy, to be kind and compassionate, generous and faithful. Our God's burning desire is for us to be like him in every way. So it's crazy that Satan would have ever said, God doesn't want you to be like him. And we believe the lie. Today, Satan has changed his story. He has changed his tactic and he has changed his simple and convincing lie. Way back at the beginning, he said to us, God is holding out. He doesn't want you to be like him. And if you'll just eat of this fruit, you will be like God. And now he says to us, who do you think you are? Take a good look around at this broken, messed up world. You cannot be like God. You know that, right? It is obvious, is it not? You cannot be like God. No one can be like God. God asks way too much of you when he tells you to be holy as he is holy. God expects too much of you when he says, imitate me, be like me, 
and walk in my ways. Nobody can do that. Nobody can be like God. And just, just as humanity was deceived in the garden so long ago, so now we are deceived by the serpent today. Our God, hear this, our God has not set us up for failure, frustration, judgment, and condemnation. Our God has provided everything we need for life and godliness through the event of the cross, the death and resurrection of Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God. God wants us to participate in his divine nature. As we are told in 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through 4, he has poured out his Holy Spirit and made us to be temples of the living God in whom he now lives and works to transform us into the likeness of Christ and to empower us to be like God in this world, to live a life of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Remember where we started? Did you say, I believe? With God, nothing is impossible. Or again, to say it a little bit differently, nothing is impossible with God. If you believe that's true, then what you believe is that you can live on his holy hill, that you can be righteous, holy, devout, faithful, that you can live as Christ lived in this world, that you can, you can be like God. Because God is with you, and nothing is impossible with God. Believe it is so, and live a life desiring to bring glory and honor to the one who has given everything for you and made it all possible. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen.